Unilever, what the heck? Okay, Lever 2000 has been our soap of choice in my family for decades, okay? And this happens to be the, uh, the aloe version. You can hear how it's a bar of soap in a box, right? This is how this soap has appeared and how you have purchased this soap for decades, okay? I went to the store because this was our last one. I went to the store to get more and it's a plasticky package, okay? So first of all, I start looking at it. I say, okay, is this the same thing? It has a lot of the same words on it. The main thing I notice is this one says made in USA. This one says made in Mexico. Normally I don't have a problem with that, but in this case, I'm gonna side with Donald Trump. <gasps> right? <laughs> okay, because look, this, I'm, I'm gonna show you here. Now they both say they're four ounces. They both come in packs of eight and they're both the same price at Walmart. So in theory, they're exactly the same, right? Now here's your original bar. Nice, you know, classic bar soap shape, right? It's thick and it's a little short. This one you can already see is longer and a little skinnier. I'm gonna open this up. When I saw this, I was a little disheartened because I immediately thought of like Dove soap, something like that. So I opened it up and it is indeed a plastic case, just a plastic wrapper. And then there's a, a thin paper layer. So this is wrapped as well as a Tootsie Roll. Okay, and this, this paper isn't even like a waxy paper. So the bar, you know, kind of sleek, elegant lines um, little, maybe a little nicer, but you can already see, see how this one's a little more glistening? It's a little shinier. I'm going to show you one of the problems here. See these flecks of white, these little specks, those persist throughout the soap. So this soap is uniform. This soap is harder. This soap is not uniform and it's a little softer. It's a little slimier, smoother. This now, Lever 2000's new formulation, made in Mexico instead of the United States, is more like a Dove soap. Like the kind of soap that you can't really get off your skin because it's almost too moisturizing. Lever 2000 with aloe was a good compromise between a skin or a soap that dries your skin out and a soap that moisturizes your skin that you can't get off you. So this has been my favorite soap for years. Years! I've used hundreds of these things. And this falls short. This is not a suitable replacement. We're gonna call that a Mark Review stuff, but this is also kind of a, a disheartening moment because Unilever, this was a bad move. You, you've lost me. I, I don't, it, what you had here was a firm commitment, a reliable purchase, something that I was going to do over and over indefinitely. And what you have now is you've opened the door for me to try other things. Your market research probably told you that most people wouldn't care, but you're losing potentially one of your best customers. And this is where my viewers come in. I need your help. Tell me what soap is most like their old formulation? I, I want to find something like this. Stay away from the dove-like slimy stuff with little, you know, flecks of... It's just not consistent. I, I'm not excited about this soap. And we've used it. This isn't the first one I opened. I just did this on camera. We've used this soap and it's not cutting it. So please leave your comments in the section below. Tell me what soap you like. Um, I've tried, you know, shower gels and stuff. I'm not a fan. I do like the bar soap. Um, you know, so favorite bar soap in the comments. Ready? Go. Okay, that'll do it for this Mark Review stuff. Uh, as I said already, leave your comments in the section below. Check out some of the other videos that we've done here and subscribe to this channel. Thanks.